Hello again. It's been a minute. So I was starting to make a video last week and I tried a new thing where I wanted to make a more polished script for the video and kind of present it in a way that was almost rehearsed, I guess, and a little bit more quote unquote professional because I was having a bit of a crisis in looking at my content and thinking like, well, how could I make this like better and bigger? And, you know, I was freaking out about like how to make this into more of like I don't know, like a business venture or like just making it more commercial, I guess. I, I don't really know. Like, I don't really know what I was thinking. I was just seeing other content creators and they have a style that's just completely different than what I was originally going for. And so when I was sitting down and trying to make this kind of video, it just it didn't come out right. It didn't feel like me. It didn't feel like it was this... I mean, I just want to be here and have like a chill conversation with people and showcase some cool stuff and talk about the indie publishing space. And, and just like when I was doing the video, it, it, was, it felt so stilted and it felt so just inauthentic. And I was so frustrated by it that I just, I like didn't finish it. And thusly, like I had run out of time because I didn't plan like my content schedule for that week very well. And it was just, it was just overall really bad. And then my partner got sick. So I was taking care of them for a few days and now I'm here and I am happy to report that I have flushed out the kind of negativity in my system and I feel like I can better present this video in future videos just by kind of chilling and being myself. So I hope that that interests you and you're welcome to stay. And I hope you will. It's pretty much it. I have Brewster with me, as always. Uh, he's become quite a character on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me, you should. I will have it here for the editing portion of this. Um, but anyway, uh, so just kind of as a recap on where I'm at with just this channel, I guess. I'm having fun and that's kind of what I want to keep doing. I, I'm in a part of my life, uh, I'm in a position in my life, I should say, where I can just kind of sit here and make videos and have fun with them and just sit and chat with you guys. And that's really what I want and that's kind of the vibe that I want to keep. So moving forward, I mean, all of the videos that you've seen thus far, if you've watched all of my videos thus far, are kind of the same conversational, super chill kind of vibe, and that's what we will likely be keeping going forward. If there's topics where I feel like we can make a more structured approach for things, I think I will try that. Um, but for the most part, I want this to be kind of a fun, informative, and also just a place where I can also look back and document my process. This is, this was created for the intention of being able to promote my book uh, that's coming out this August, The Destined Road. It's book one of the trilogy that I have planned called The Instruments of Fate. It's a high fantasy series uh, that I'm very excited to be writing and super fortunate to have the opportunity to do so. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the point of this channel, just to showcase what it's like being an indie author and someone who's like brand new at it, who has no idea what they're doing, and who's brand new at YouTube and really doesn't have any idea what they're doing, who's never really been on social media like for a while and now has jumped into it full time. So all that being said, um, just also another note, like a couple videos ago I was like, I'm not on TikTok anymore because of reasons, um, and I never made a video for the reasons. Uh, basically the reasons are that it just, it feels like a completely different app than when I first downloaded it. It's way more geared for like 
their product promotion and I don't have a book product yet to sell so it just kind of feels a little stilted to use. Uh, and they got rid of a bunch of sounds uh, that you can't use anymore with Universal Music Group, I believe. So it just, I don't know, I've always found Instagram to kind of be the holy grail of social media. I think it's done a good job. Um, I know it's taken a lot uh, from other, taken a lot from other platforms and kind of morphed it into its own thing, but I think, I think it does it really well and I'm super active on there. So as I mentioned before, if you don't follow me, you should. Uh, I would like to interact and get to know you all. And uh, hopefully then if you're from Instagram and you come here, hello, welcome to Writer Makes Videos. Yeah, so today, uh, based on the title, which I'm assuming you've read, is I'm going to be talking about creating an author website. Um, I know, <laughs> I know also in my last video, I talked about the fact that I was going to uh, do my cover art and that has not happened yet. I still, I still need to get the art scanned. Uh, I still need to kind of finalize the image in my head of what I'm looking for. So I think it's actually going to be a little bit of a longer process than I had originally anticipated. I have a rough concept down. I have the idea down. I have the art. I have InDesign, so I know how to make it. It's just a matter of kind of... The number you dialed is not a working number. Putting all of the elements together, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be kind of a stay tuned thing. Um, I will probably soft launch it on Instagram. So if you follow me there, you'll be able to see uh, see that launch. It might be just a mock. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm still very early in the process of like revealing the book and all of that stuff. Uh, I'm still in beta reads. So it might be actually for a couple of months that I kind of want to sit on it for a bit. Because I, I know I can make multiple covers and I can release different versions and things like that. But this is my first impression of the book to the world. So I kind of want to give it... I want to give it its moment and I want to give myself the moment to figure out what I'm going to do with it and make it in the best way possible. So back to the topic of today's video, which is creating an author website. How do you do it? Why do you need it? Um, and that's kind of, for any authors specifically, a lot of people are like, well, why do I even need a website when social media exists and it's free? And I'm like, that's true. Um, but there's one big reason and a website is something that you inherently kind of own and and that's the difference between social media you're kind of lost to the whims and rules of the platform uh, you could lose your account at any given point you could lose posts at any given point a lot of things can happen uh, so having a website and having like a designated place for your audience to reach you is super important and also it just it's something that can grow with you you it doesn't have to be stagnant uh, I first got my website when I was interested in doing uh, graphic design and freelancing. And so it's morphed from that into a blog, uh, into just kind of a resume page. Um, it turned into a portfolio at some point for all of my artwork and my like, photography work that I did for a little while. And then most recently now, obviously, it is an author website uh, to promote to promote my book and to promote myself as an author and kind of that's how I want to be displayed that's how I want to that's how I want to be presented so that's pretty much why it exists the way that it does um but regarding author websites I know I know a lot of indie authors don't have a lot of resources or like know-how maybe uh in the space of how to go about creating a website and so i thought that would be kind of an interesting topic to cover uh and to also just go through the process of what does it actually look like to make a website that's absolutely free or little to no cost my current website is on a canva um, i utilize canva pro so included in that subscription is the ability to make and host websites um, so I had to transition off of a Squarespace in order to do this. Um, it's mainly because I couldn't afford the, <laughs> afford the fee for a Squarespace anymore. And I utilize Canva Pro for marketing and like content creation materials for social media. So having kind of an all-inclusive package that didn't require me to pay anything extra for the website was great. 
Um, I might go back to Squarespace at some point when my situation changes because Squarespace is clean and user-friendly and just feature-rich environment is so great and so it's just so easy to use and it's it's been the one that I've utilized for the entirety of like owning my domain and owning my own website. Uh, yeah, so you can check check my uh, Canva website out uh at this at the at the link that i just showed um it will be it's not perfect there's some limitations with canva but uh overall I, i'm i'm pretty happy with it i think it conveys what i want it to convey and it it, it could get better i think I'll, I'll spend some time cleaning it up especially when i start announcing more details about the book and i have you know a where to buy link and all this sort of stuff um but who knows, it might change back to a Squarespace before then, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so in, in this in this episode, uh, I'm going to be walking through creating a free website. And the in my search, what I found was that Wix was the number one recommended website to create a free website. The only problem with a Wix website is that if you don't own your own domain, you can still create a website, but you get kind of this janky URL that doesn't really convey what you want it to convey. You can change the slug on it, which is the like a bit after the forward slash that you can edit a little bit. But that's about it. As you'll see uh, in the in the upcoming clips, I just kind of go through a run through uh, just kind of seeing Wix for the first time in a long time, really. I had dabbled in Wix before creating websites for other people. And then I tried thinking about doing it for myself until I decided to stick with Squarespace at the time. So I had an account and, and then I went through and just started as from scratch as I could. And you'll see that. But I hope that it's at least helpful that you get a chance to take a look at it and if you're gonna follow along at least you'll be able to pinpoint how to create one how to utilize a template and how to get your website published for literally no cost yeah so check that out and I'll see you back here in a bit okay so here I have pulled up Wix um, as I went through and searched up some of the best free websites, Wix was rated as number one. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account and start. Okay, so as you get into Wix, um, I already had an account with Wix that I forgot about, uh, but it'll bring up um, this dashboard to take a tour. Um, I'm not going to do that for this, so we're just going to go out. Uh, and this is kind of what you're met with, this initial let's set up uh, your business thing. So in this, connect a custom domain. Uh, that's where if you buy your own domain, that's what happens. Uh, so let's take a look at the plans really quick, just so everyone can get kind of an understanding of what is offered here see so premium plan that is right for your business business elite business core and light uh there doesn't doesn't say anything about their free plan here but we're going to leave we're gonna leave that um Okay, let's see. I'm actually going to, so I'm going to go and create a new site. Uh, we're going to set up without AI. Thank you very much. Uh, and search for your business or website type. I'm going to put writing, writing portfolio. Next. Uh, business name. I'm going to put my author pen name. And let's see, okay, so chat help, uh, this is the features that you wanna add to your site. So there's a chat, an online store, events, and a blog. So I'm gonna get rid of chat. I'm gonna go with blog. Um, I'm thinking, let's see. I don't yet have an online store, but that's something that you can add if you actually have books that you can sell. I don't have any books out yet, so perhaps that will be something that I will add later. 
But let's see. Okay, farms. Uh, yeah, we can get subscribers, so that might be something that we're interested in. An Instagram feed, because I'm active on social media. Music, online programs, table, file share, forum. No, I don't think any of those. Restaurant menu, bands in town, no. So yeah, we're going to go ahead with blog forms and Instagram feed for our purposes in this. We're going to go ahead and click next. Start setting up your business. And let's go, let's start with begin with a template because I think that's, um, that's the easiest way to kind of get involved. And then as you get, uh, as you get to the templates page, they have quite a few to choose from. This is pretty new from the last time I've utilized Wix, but it's still very cool to see. Uh, let's, and you can go ahead and you can actually like view some of these. You can preview them before you actually start editing any of uh, the content that's inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up and take a look. Use this template as a starting point. All right. Uh, but we're going to actually just take a look. Uh, okay. Featured work. All oh, that's neat. Publications about contact. All right. Writing portfolio. Uh, I bet there's supposed to be an image here that isn't showing up, but that's okay. Let's check out what mobile looks like. Pretty standard. That's okay. Let's hit about. Oh, there we go. Little about page, a little contact at the bottom. That's great. Publications. Let's see. Okay. And that's just a list of links. That's not bad. That's not too bad. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty good. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and use uh, this one. We're going to go ahead and click edit. All right. Fantastic. Uh, again, I'm not going to let AI write our site. I think we can, we can handle this one on our own. Uh, so there's elements, sections, pages and menus, site design, apps, business media, and customer managed services. So, and when you get in here, it's broken up into different sections. So this is like the menu page and header. Uh, this is the body of your site or the intro. And I'm assuming you can add multiple sections to this. And then down at the bottom is a footer. This will be on every page. And see down here where it says uh, the copyright and then powered and secured by Wix. Uh, that bit at the end, powered and secured by Wix, is likely uh, what is going to stick onto your website if you don't have a proper domain. And like you can see here, HTTPS, www.wix.com slash my site. You can also connect your domain, but I believe that if you don't connect anything and you just let it be powered by Wix as it, as it were, um, you can go ahead and keep the site for free. But we're going to go ahead and confirm that. Uh, just by creating a site and, and filling it out. So I'm going to quick edit this uh, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to go to my own site at the moment, uh, pull that up and go ahead and copy the text from my website and I'm going to put it in here. So it looks like you can edit it just in this little window. It doesn't seem like you can make this window any bigger, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and just put that there. Uh, and then it got real small. So let's see layout. Okay, so they have some sort of like some pre, yeah, some pre, pre-done layouts. We're gonna stick to the original one for right now. Uh, and paragraph. Let's see if we can. This is pretty strange for this. Section background paragraph. Ah, to change font size, colors, and more, close this panel and select the text on the page. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close. Aha, there we go. So you close that and then you go ahead and you highlight the text that you want to edit. And we're going to make that just a wee bigger. Yeah, it's about 33. That looks good. I like the I like the font. I think that's great. Let's see effects. Oh, you can even add effects too. Let's see. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. Now I'm just playing around. That's fine. All right. Cool. That's neat. Vertical text. Enable vertical text. Oh, wild. Okay, so they've done a lot of updates from when I have last interacted with Wix. 
Uh, this is all fairly new for me, which is kind of fun, actually. I do enjoy learning some new things. And we're actually, yeah, we're going to fix that to that. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, yeah, okay, writing portfolio. I think that's great. Oh, change background. You can change the background of the of the bottom font with some of these preloaded images. So that's kind of cool. We'll just go with a color. Oh, and they've got this like gradient color. That's really fun. We'll just go with a solid. Just a solid. Let's go with a green of some sort. Olive. Cool. Okay, um, and then let's see, pages and menu. All right, so this is kind of the framework for all of your um, pages that are within the website. So right now we're at home. Uh, I think if we click into featured work, let's see if it'll let us, not going to lie, this is, ah, okay, here we go. So at this top, we can go into, can we go into, no, let's just manage, okay. So we're actually going to go into um, featured work. And so basically what this is, is it's a, a folder that's got all of these different like blog posts, it looks like inside of, inside of the like nested version. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and since I don't have any, we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete that. Oh, and it didn't delete all of the sub pages, which is interesting. Okay, so noted, it's not listed as a sub page, but it should be a sub page. We're gonna go ahead and delete all of those. So now we've got home, publications, and about. So that changes what comes up up here uh, in your menu when you're doing that. So we're going to, we're going to head and edit this. If I can, Let's type my own name. Okay. I can type, I swear. Um, okay, and then I'm, I don't have a huge bio, so I'm just going to kind of leave it there for now. I'll go ahead and edit image. Uh, let's see, let's change out the image and see if we can do that. All right, so this is kind of an, uh, a media hub that you can get into. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload, upload from my computer. I've got a standard selfie that I kind of use for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. All right, so I've uploaded the image. I choose this image and it replaces it for me right inside of uh, the sort of image background that it has. It looks like I can adjust, yeah, I can adjust the height and width of the image, uh, which is great. Let's see, settings, image behavior. When the image is clicked, a link opens. Let's say nothing happens because nothing happens when you click on uh, my portrait. I don't want it to do anything. And then let's see if we can, what does adjust tell us? Okay, so you can actually go ahead and adjust the image inside of their photo studio, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's got all of the like individual adjustments and then it's got a variety of filters, which are kind of fun, fun filters. Then you can add text, uh, decorative stickers or overlays, which is also interesting. Oh, a foggy overlay, that's kind of cool. All right, we're just gonna revert to the original and hit save. Uh, yeah, so we'll say that most of this is pretty complete, um, seeing as how this template is actually pretty inclusive in what it ne what, in what you need for a beginner website. You want a bio. If you have any publications, or what we can do is we can add a section and let's see if they've got sort of a blog. So they don't, they must have a Log feature, don't they not? Add menu item. New page. 
Ah, okay, so here it is. So what we're gonna do, I'll go back through that again. I'll get out of this. Uh, when you want to, so say that you have publications about and contact, but you also like write a blog. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to pages and menus. We're going to add menu item, new page. And then they have this option down here called blog. And we're gonna go ahead and add a Wix blog. And it's gonna do that for us. Fantastic. Okay, so these are the individual post pages, it would seem. And then it'll show up like this, which is really pretty. You change the background on this. Uh, and then you can go ahead directly as you click on this blog feature and you can hit manage posts and then it'll bring you into a dashboard. Okay, awesome. So you actually, you actually create posts inside of a dashboard. So we'll go ahead and create a sample post. Catchy title. This is a sample post of a blog that I do not have. Thank you for your time. I can type, maybe not. I'm also trying to do this over a mic when I normally check in every once in a while at what I'm typing. Thank you for your time. Check out my YouTube channel. Writer makes videos. All right. And we're going to go ahead and it looks like you can monetize. You can add tags. You can add categories. Uh, let's see. You can probably add, yeah, you could probably add GIFs, uh, dividers, buttons. So there's a bunch of things that you can do if you have really in-depth blogs, which I know some people really do and they're very cool. Uh, but for the sake of this, just creating a typed out blog, we're going to go ahead and do this and then hit publish. Great. Post published. Fantastic. Uh, let's see, let's go to editor just to see what it gives us. Just so you can have an idea of what to expect when you open the editor. Oh, it just takes us straight back to the regular editor. All right, not a big deal. That's totally fine. But now we do have a blog page. So when we go to pages and then we go to blog, it'll pull up the blog that we've started and it'll have all of the posts there. So that's really cool. Okay, so let's say that we've gotten through all of this. It's exactly how we want it. It's we feel really good about doing it this way. Um, we've gotten everything that we needed. An about page, a contact page, a blog, and any sort of publications or books that you might already have that you can list here is exactly what you need as a basic author page, even just to like hold a space on the internet so you can continually update it and utilize it as your writing career changes and shifts. Uh, this is a perfect, easy to use template, a little, a little difficult to kind of configure as I got used to the new, uh, options inside of Wix. I would say that Squarespace in my experience is a little more clean cut, a little more understandable and user friendly. Uh, but this wasn't too bad. Just a couple of clicks to figure some things out, differences between sections and pages, uh, things like that. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit publish. We're going to see what happens next. Okay. So congratulations, your site is published and live online and you see this mess. That is the cost of keeping things free. But now we know that at least it is completely free. So we can go ahead and view site. And it is live. The site was designed with the Wix.com website builder. Uh, so this tab will show up on your website uh, when people come and click on it. But at the very minimum, when you're in, when you finally created this page, you do have an absolutely free and very clean cut website that you can utilize for the foreseeable future until you decide that you want to not have this anymore or if you want to buy your own domain. And buying a domain is really easy. There's a lot of places online that you can do so. Uh, I bought mine through GoDaddy, but Google Domains is another one that you can utilize that's very easy, very straightforward. It's just a matter of finding a domain that is available and then you purchase it often for about a year at a time and then purchase a security measure with it uh, in order to secure the domain in your name. So that's it. That's actually, that was a lot easier than I thought. And it is actually absolutely free, but 
the drawback is this jumbled mess of um, domain. I do want to see if there is a way to change that a little bit. Um, oh, and you can edit your site for mobile. That's really great. Um, so, but we'll get rid of that. Let's see, settings. Connect domain or upgrade. Yeah, I think that the only thing, let's see, site, website settings. Okay, let's see if we can, no, it seems that the only, only thing that they give you is this sort of generated uh, first last name number dot wix site dot com slash, but you can edit the slug on your domain so there is a little bit of editing that you can do in that not great a favicon is another thing that shows up it's this little wix box right here uh, inside of windows so you can change that if you upgrade uh yep yeah, but at the very least this is a completely free site that gives you an opportunity to share your work and to express uh your place in the writer space online so I, I hope that was helpful. At least you have a taste of something that you are able to do and produce in a matter of seconds. I will leave it to uh, other Jess to close this video on out, but thanks so much for joining us. I hope that was helpful. If you followed along, uh, now you have a website and you can go forth and share your creativity and your voice with anyone and everyone and you have an a place where your audience can connect to you and see all the great work that you're doing. So I hope, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you had a good time watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.